out here, but uh, it's been a while. Come on, camera, stop playing tricks on me. Let me see. Wow, she want to act messy. Okay. Hey, y'all see I cut myself with the damn thing, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be, I'm trying to get them baby, them baby sharks back going. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Any who's, um, yeah, boy. It's cold out here, trying to be cute for you. Trying to be cute for the channel, you know what I'm saying? Get this uh, thing going here. Anyway, YouTube, YT, what's happening with y'all, man? I want to appreciate y'all coming back to the channel. It is uh, cold out here in San Diego. <clears throat> I know y'all probably been waiting for a minute for the video of the Chevelle. I'm hoping this is a <clears throat> I can't really tell when I step back so I'm hoping this is clear if it's not clear please excuse me um I actually got the 72 Chevelle right here behind me this thing is headed to the exhaust shop today it's actually supposed to win yesterday um it was supposed to win before I went to Los Angeles but um damn man I think it's gonna rain Man, it's early, y'all. Look what time it is. Oh, let me see. Bam. Y'all see that? Top screen, maybe? Uh, top screen, maybe? Well, anyways. It's early, y'all. It's 535. I'm trying to check the rainmaker. Look, the clouds look good. Oh, dang. Y'all got to check this out, bruh. Let me make sure I'm getting that for y'all. Oh, man, it's not coming up on camera. Let me see. Man, boy, oh, boy, I tell you, ain't it a blessing? Ain't it a blessing, man. I got the camera set on the um, on a higher setting or whatever so y'all can see me, but it's dark out here right now. Um, that's when them pixels, them pixels come in handy. That's when them pixels come in handy. Um, but now I'm just trying to see if it's trying to if it's going to rain today because if it is, I got to get cracking real quick, man. The uh, the 72 LS Swap Chevelle. Uh, it says no rain, so we got action. Um, this car was actually supposed to went to the exhaust shop yesterday, but uh, <clears throat> it's supposed to went Friday. I went to Los Angeles yesterday. They supposed to call me before I left. It's supposed to been there at 8:30. Um, I waited till about 11:30, and I went over there, and they was like, "Oh yeah, the car that they had yesterday was all day job, and uh, they weren't able to finish it." So I just had to dip out. So um, today is Saturday. I'm trying to get this car to the exhaust shop. That's pretty much the last thing I have to do on it. Um, I gotta clean up some wiring on it as well. Uh, man, it's cold. So um, I did kind of leave you guys in the dust on this uh, vehicle because I kind of wanted to just get it done, man. Um, as you guys know, I did not make a, a video of it, but I, I should have, but I didn't. I moved so damn much, it's just ridiculous at this point, man. I've been, my main goal been to uh, buy a house for the longest. The camera's not focused, so let me just pick this thing up. Cause I know y'all wanna see your boy. Um, It's just this damn camera, I'm not gonna lie, this camera is a little heavy <clears throat> with the tripod and all that stuff. So basically, uh, I moved and when I moved, uh, I, I recorded so damn, so many damn times moving, it just wasn't even a point at this uh, at that moment. So this Chevelle actually came from the other shop. Um, now, excuse me, I lost motivation on the car. I had the, um, now, I had the the whole complete fuel system done. It took me hours to do it. Braided loom. Um, I mean, it's a uh, yeah, it's a, it's a AN6 braided 
front to back, uh, had the, you know, the, the fuel wire, all that stuff braided, the hose clamps, everything. And Sinclair, you, he decided to change the fuel system. So I'm like, ah. So we was going from an external, so we went to internal. I was like, man, I literally spent 10 hours on this fuel system. Should not have took that long, but when you don't have a lift and you, you know, trying to perfect everything, you know, it takes time, whatever. So after that, I was like, man, I just let it uh, sit for like a couple of weeks or probably like a month or something. I was just like, man. And during that time, I was also uh, emptying out the shop. So it was moving. So the car sat like for like probably like a month and a half, man. Um, and I had other projects that I was trying to hurry up and get out and blah, blah, blah. But anywho, I ended up towing like six or seven cars here. <clears throat> I towed uh, five cars to the storage. And that was a big ass bill for me, man. It was just irritating and annoying man it was what it was but uh now i got the uh, i had it towed over here to the uh to the new spot and i mean so far man i, I swapped out the uh, these damn gas tanks man these companies charge you so much money for these damn gas tanks do you pay like almost 800 bucks and uh it's crazy to think that the fuel pumps that they give you will work these damn they and they don't work so i don't know what the hell i don't know if they're getting like some um Chinese parts works for, for sure, but I don't know if they get like cheaper Chinese brand fuel pumps that work for a little while, but every single one that I got, man, they don't work. So we had to swap it out and put a, 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 a Aeromotive fuel, uh, did I go Aeromotive or War, bro? I think I put an Aeromotive uh, sending unit in here, fuel pump in here, and uh, now it's firing up. The, the fuel pressure is A1, but uh, I just, man, let me show y'all. I'm we're talking. Let me show y'all. Let me. Pretty much, here we go. I have to clean up that nest over there. I have to pull out the, the block. If you see these wires right here, they're literally just hanging. So they're, they're, they're all dead wires, they're just hanging. So I'm gonna actually pull them out of the uh, the block. I have to pull the block out and just basically uh, depend them. I put some loom on the back. I gotta like literally still hide a couple things or whatnot. Uh, these valve covers most likely are gonna be coming off and just putting the stock ones on with the ICT brackets. And what else? I have this locker piece in there inside the, the house. I'm gonna just install this. It's a 6.0 cammed, has a, a built 4L60E transmission. It has a LS6 intake. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much it, man has uh, dual electric fans I have the reservoir over there on the side this is just a little piece okay let me let me let me get you back story on this I actually was going to um, there's a gang of companies that sells these they're like 800 bucks for the amount of money that you was I was the amount of money that you would spend you can make it yourself so I was gonna go get a, a aluminum welder and I bought this piece here I was gonna cut this off and there's a way that you, it is like this little tool or whatever, and it basically a grind it smooth, which most likely I probably will do. I gotta see. But I was actually going to weld all this together, and I was like, damn, I forgot about the damn uh, mass airflow, and the mass airflow will only reach about here, but that's not gonna give it any room for the uh, for the damn air filter. So, <clears throat> and I wanted to uh, make something that kind of. Yeah. So basically, like these right here from like the trucks. And I wanted to have something like this, uh, you know, something like some some razzle dazzle like that, and basically uh, box this thing in, get some cardboard, um, get some cardboard, make uh, make the uh, the shape, and I can form the shape or whatever. And basically, cut it and have it to where it just it bolts into this bolt, and I'll have everything boxed in. Cause honestly, when you see the air filters like that, I mean it's gonna get hot air. Period. They call it cold air intakes, but I mean it's under the damn hood. It's gonna get hot either way. Um, still have to paint this it's not even on there as you can see just mock up but <clears throat> for the most part dude uh, uh she's pretty much ready to go new fuel tank um all these hoses here most likely are going to be braided i'm waiting for all those stuff to come in all this is going to be braided the uh all the loom is braided the whole fuel system front to back is uh, braided. If you guys do remember, I had a aftermarket 
uh, what is it called? I had an aftermarket 92 millimeter intake on here, and the damn thing, I was trying to figure out why, you know, I, I, I torqued it down and everything. Like I told you, sometimes they just have leaking problems, and one of the ones that I bought, it had a freaking bad leaking issue because one of the injectors, let's say all of them was like an inch, one of them was like a little bit short or whatever, so all the injectors couldn't sit in there properly. So I tried to put a spacer on just that one, but then it made it to where the rail sat like this, and it just, it was just a piece of crap one. Um, got it off eBay or whatever, and guess what? They was like, oh, it's a restocking fee, it's a this fee. It's, so I lost some money on that intake. So you can buy the same exact intake from Fitech or what's the name of the other company? Uh, or Holly or whatever. It's the same damn thing or whatever. But by the time you buy, it's $1,000 for the damn intake. So I was like, man, whatever it is, what it is. Took my loss, bought the LS6 intake and say, hey, it is what it is. So it looks just as good and actually performs a lot better because it's plastic. It doesn't hold heat. If you didn't know, now you know. And um, got the LS Simple AC on here. We have the LS Simple uh, power steering alternator bracket. If you guys want to, y'all say I'll never give you nothing, whatever. If you guys want to know what part number it is for this hose, it's uh, 71981. It's just a, a LS1 water hose. And um, yeah, do it. It looked like it's like it's cramped in there or whatever, but it's, it's literally not. Like it's. It's not or whatever. It just looked like that. And uh, pretty much that's it, man. We already got the system bled. Got all the good cooling in there. Probably going to put a little bit more. I, I haven't... The most I let this thing run was probably about... Five minutes or so because, for one, I can't let it run that long. Probably wouldn't even five minutes. Probably was like two minutes because I was trying to figure out the fuel pressure issue oh so the most that i have let this thing run was about i don't like i said i don't even think it was five minutes more so probably like two minutes it's a commercial property i can't let the exhaust run like a lot of people around here do but i like to be more respectful and um it, it's loud man it, all the space that we have this damn thing just echoes and it got this big ass cam in there whatever and that's a bump i did not get bumps uh I had it in here and it just disappear so when you start it, it actually spits oil out of the uh out of the block on the bottom but that's neither here nor there easy fix just put a damn dipstick in it once i find it if i don't find it today i'm just gonna order another one has a uh, braided transmission lines all the way from let me see can i see that can i see that it has braided transmission lines top to bottom everything on this car is braided or whatever um Everything is braided. You have the uh, the battery. You have the uh, you have the battery. All the battery cables are. Yeah. Let me see if you guys can see that. All the battery cables are in braided loom, soldered. That's a tool. Hey, buddy. Got a braided power steering. The power steering hoses. Now you guys can see that uh, reservoir. I tucked I pretty much uh, tucked everything inside uh, the fenders or whatever and um, that's pretty much it man the, the, the car is pretty much done I would uh, like to have did this the way I wanted to do it maybe powder coated black sent this out the powder coat and they actually have a piece here that covers this up that would have made it look a little bit cleaner but we could do all that stuff later i know somebody is going to ask um <laughs> yes that's the extended cab obs no i'm not doing the swapping that y'all be looking in the background not paying attention and focusing um that's a truck that my brother had it had a just a 350 in there engine and trans he using that for a two-door tahoe he's taking the whole front end off of it he's, he took everything off of whatever basically he had a Two door Tahoe that he did a like the GMC conversion on. I said, Big bro, hey, that's ugly. He said, No, this is hard. He was like, Hey, little bro, that's ugly. So he used this truck for two uh, two purposes. He took the front end off of it to put it back on a 99 two door Tahoe, two wheel drive. And then also, he has a 95 OBS that he's going to be using. It's a, a 4.3. He's going to pull that out, put the 350 in with the five speed. So that truck served two purposes. And it was a pretty decent truck, but it is what it is. If you haven't done so already, I just want to say please like, subscribe, comment, and show love. Hit the thumbs down. Only if your ugly ass is a bum. And uh, 
hope you guys enjoyed that video with the Camaro. You guys said you enjoy longer videos. I'm, I'm probably gonna say this twice. You guys said you're enjoying longer videos, so I was basically rapping to you about nothing, just giving you a little backstory about the car, whatever. I had it about, I don't know, like six months or whatever. And I typically tell people like, hey, uh, you know, your swaps are gonna take about two months. Honestly, like I said, my 96 Impala, I had that thing swapped. I drove it down from Vegas. I drove it down from Vegas to Los Angeles. We did a swap in Pack Backyard. It took about four days, and I drove it all the way back home to Vegas. Not a lip, not, not a leak, not a drip, not a nothing. And the car was driving for about five months, and then a harness. That's when we was, that was back, that was back in the day, when we was making those uh, at-home harnesses. And uh, it kind of just shorted out. I had to repair a couple things, and it just shorted out, and the car just didn't want to start no more. So I actually sold the whole damn car, man, uh, for a smoker price. I ain't going to tell you how much. It was a crackhead price, though. But the car was the car was a piece of junk anyway. It was a true 96 Impala with a 5.3 for a 60E swap, but I just sold it for the swap itself. I wasn't even tripping on the car, man. It had Bondo through the whole car. It was just bad. And now I got a, uh, I got another 96 here. So enough with all the rapping, man. We have about 20 minutes in right now. So <clears throat> I'm going to put this locker cable in. I'm going to um, build these electric fans. Build the harness for the fans. Get all that stuff soldered and stuff. I bought a new soldering gun, y'all, too. From, uh, from, uh, from, from, uh, um, I bought a new, uh, I bought a new soldering gun, too. So, I've been needing that mug. I've been using this little pen. And I actually got it from All Right Tools. Let me show y'all real quick. Yeah, boy. I'm going to show y'all everything I got. I don't know why in the hell I just didn't use a damn toolbox to show you. Got this mug from All Right Tools. So I got my little things or whatever. The last one, I, I've been using this pen for a minute. The last one, I don't know I don't know if somebody stole it or... I don't know what the hell happened to it. It don't really even matter. But I bought it from All Right, All right Tools. If y'all don't know what All Right Tools is, All Right Tools is that's Harbor Freight tools. You know what I'm saying? I bought it from Harbor Freight. It was about uh, 40 bucks. This little soldering things, whatever. I got one back there, but you can always use another one. That was about six bucks. I paid 50 bucks for everything. So now I can, um, the pen is easier when you're in under the dash and doing a little stuff, whatever, but that one heats up a lot more and works a lot better. I missed that thing. So about to get back cracking on that. And uh, hey man, I just want to say I appreciate y'all, man. A lot of people, I don't know why y'all think I'm rich, man. I'm not rich, man. I wouldn't be out here working on these cars at 6 o'clock in the damn morning. I'm not rich by no means, but uh, I do the best I can. I work as hard as I can. I work as fast as I can. Do the best quality as I can. I'm still learning at the end of the day. I'm sure some of you guys are learning with me. <clears throat> I'm sure you guys can see my growth within my, my video editing. I literally do this whole program by myself. I do uh, I do the engine swaps by myself. I do the... Uh, he's actually getting a Dakota Dash, Dash swap. I do the Dakotas installed by myself. I do the fuel system, wiring harness. I do, I, I run this whole program by myself and now I'm trying to get this closing thing cracking. Ben trying to get this thing cracking or whatever. It's just something else that had to be added to my plate. And uh, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man, it's, it's it's hard, dude. It's hard doing all this by myself, but I be wanting help. And I'm not gonna lie, I be wanting help, but sometimes people just get on my damn nerves, man. And honestly, just keeping it 100, I think I got to the point to where it's like now, I actually, will rather work by myself because my video editing if i let somebody edit it they're going to pull a part out that i actually wanted or something like that so i can't have nobody doing that and as far as the car stuff goes i don't want to have to go over somebody else work i can help somebody train somebody i might actually have one person in particular that might little young dude uh he might come out and help me out and we just i just got to see how it goes man i'm not trying to do all this by myself it's not that i want to just i ain't find no damn help but enough of the talking man you see my fingers that's how you know it's cold Enough of the talking, man. I'm about to uh, start this bracket and uh, get cracking. Oh, we, baby. Oh, we. Enjoy this instrumental by my boy SSV. Felix on the sack. Y'all seeing prayers from my boy. Love you, big cause, though. Oh, we.
So we have the low car, or some people say locker cable installed. Um, I shortened it, made some adjustments. God looked out for your boy because I accidentally uh, cut off too much, but uh, it worked out and I still got some room for adjusting. I need to go buy uh, two crush washers though. But aside from that, uh, it is kind of early in the morning. Take that paper up out of there, out of the throttle, buddy. Uh oh, got it tilted. Who say, uh, let's say, a, let's do a cold start. Um, snap them real quick, y'all. Hey, little bro, you know what I'm saying? You on YouTube, baby. Shout out to my little bro, Shannon Young, one time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let him get a little 15 seconds of fame. Anywho, uh, Y'all wanna, wanna do a startup? It's uh, it's eight o'clock. Eight o'clock on Saturday. Let's wake the neighbors up. <clears throat> Get all this stuff back up off of here. Like I said, it's eight o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. I've been out here for a decent amount of time. It ain't got nothing done. But um, shoot. Let's wake the neighbors up. We're gonna be respectful, but disrespectful. You know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna try to start it uh, without hit. I should be able to start it without hitting the gas or whatever. I just gotta go and uh, tweak the tune just a little bit more to get that uh, that idle air control right or whatever. And um, I do need to do a little bit of work on a on a trim on a fuel trims because they I, it was originally a truck computer file and it has the um, the Moltec injector, so I need to tune it for the uh, LS1 injectors, but. Let's try to get me started. Roll the window down. We got pressure. Make sure it's in park. She in park. Fire in the hole. As you see, she does fire up. I might uh, try to. There we go. She does fire up, man. So I might post it in the video with the. Uh, um, I might post it in the video with the. Uh, what is it called? The first fire up. Um, it's actually pretty funny, but I was, uh, you know, I'm, I was cussing a lot in there with her. I was happy as hell. That fuel pump man did a did a number on me, man. So I had to drop the tank a couple times and you know add certain things, pull certain things off or whatever, and whatever. We got the thing fired up, so I was a little excited. But we got the first fire up. Um I have this wire in here. Y'all see this wire right here? I gotta pull this wire. I gotta go through all the harness and pull that wire out. Cause that's actually a live wire. We don't want nothing live while driving it to the exhaust shop. Pull that out. Clean up that nest, do a little bit more painting, wash it down, and uh, figure out what I'm gonna do about this corner. But from there, man, she almost ready to go. Let's get it, baby, take it to the exhaust shop. Let me know in the comments again if y'all like these long videos, man. I've been looking at a lot of YouTubers, man. I've been looking at uh, like vlogging videos, this and that, eight videos be about an hour long. <clears throat> that video, the 69 Camaro, the video that I posted probably most likely before this one, that video was, man, this bump is killing me, you know? Why do not get bumps? That's weird. Um, but the video I posted before this, it was the hour long video. And I did it from, I trimmed it down from an hour to about 31 minutes. You know, with the, uh, you know, with the time lapse and things like that or whatever. But I'm gonna try to get y'all a good 30, 45 minutes on this video. So y'all got to hear it uh, fire up for the first time, man. And uh, about to put this thing on, do not disturb. Probably moms. 
It's my little bro. It's my other little bro. Um, let's go down the street, man. Go to the exhaust. I'm going to drive up there to the exhaust shop real quick and see if I can uh, get this thing going. Peace. So, um, it's now 12 o'clock. Try to call the exhaust shop again. It's annoying. Don't make no sense, man. People don't be wanting money, bro. That must be crazy. I'm gonna have to find another exhaust shop, dude. It's like my third time calling up there. I ain't about to, I ain't gonna let the phone ring that long. So you got three times to let it ring with me and click up, but I was a uh, knock hang up, but I was desperate. Um Damn dude, we might have to tow this one to somewhere else, dude. It's gonna suck. But I'm trying to, um, I don't know, whatever. We're going to figure it out. Anywho, um, I got uh, all the wires and stuff. Basically, all the wires unpinned. Those are all the wires that came from... Um, That came from this section right here. Got everything loomed up back there. So these are the only wires right here that I have to bother with. This one is for, I don't know if his horn ever worked, but he does have this big old, his trunk horn. I don't know what all this is for. But this one right here, this one is grounded. The compressor is right there. The compressor is grounded. So this is the signal to it, which is this one. And then this one right here is the horn ground. And uh, what else? I have no idea what the hell is this for. I have no idea what this is for because it was like that. This one right here was taped. So I'm going to actually cut it, shorten it, and solder that one. And um, these little ones right here, these are for the windshield wipers. So pretty much, man, that little corner will be cleaned up and done and just a couple more a few odds and ends gotta do something with that stuff back there and get it to the damn exhaust shop i apologize i have the uh the camera turned the mic turned away from me but this exhaust shop is pissing me off man i can't really can't really do nothing without uh getting that exhaust done like i said it fires up but i actually want to be able to drive the thing it goes in reverse it goes in drive does everything it's supposed to do um brake lights headlights everything is working this exact this is the exhaust shop is stopping me from getting my monies and i want this car out uh honestly this weekend would be great but doing that dash is going to slow me down too but i wasn't trying to do the dash right now so that in case the exhaust shop calls me I can, um, it's going to be too hard to assemble that dash and put it back together. Once it's out, that's it, it's out. I'm not putting it back together until the Dakota's going back in there. So, uh, anywho's, man, I'm going to get back with y'all in a minute.